So we should be at work right now, but we're going on a picking mission for everything because we're supposed to get five inches of rain today, probably. So I'll dump my gauges out to check, but we'll see right now. Gonna pick in the trailer, dude. How about this one? Well, yeah, anything that these are all gonna blow up and explode if not. You, there's plenty of them. You can look at all these tomatoes. Oh wow, wow! Look at these tomato plants. So now I'm afraid all these tomatoes are gonna get blight with all this rain. But look, we have to pick these eggplants. I think we waited way too long. See how big they are. Way too long. So we're gonna pick everything out today. Powdery mildew is gonna spread, but it is what it is. We'll get it done. The girls are picking everything. I think I'm gonna get peppers, but we'll be off when to you work. get too busy in lawn care, your yeah. fruit just grows way too big. Yeah. Look at these things. Way too big. Be careful with this. Look at all these jalapenos. We have a basket of I'll bananas. We're trying to harvest all this before this rain comes. <laughs> so, all the tomatoes that are red or orange we're picking. So, let me get back to it. Good morning, good morning. boss lady. Good morning. Good morning. Let's say good morning. Yeah. So far, it's probably not going to be a good afternoon, guys. Yeah, we're... um definitely supposed to get rain yeah when you see on your weather channel app it says expect one to two inches of rain this afternoon then we're getting one to two inches of rain probably honestly probably more like two to four inches of rain if they're saying that and guess what it's not supposed to stop raining until monday or tuesday boss it's all right it's and it's right. not just 50 percent it's 90 percent we're not gonna complain I'm complaining. We're just going to get it We done. just about got caught up and we had two free days almost to, uh, for Friday and Saturday to do some projects. And now yeah, we're not going to be caught up now with all this rain. We're going to be behind in mowing again. But it's going to get the grass greened up. And Yeah. I mean. Uh, and as you guys seen, our garden is completely out of control. We haven't done anything in it in three, four, five days. But it's still growing. It's still growing. Everything's still growing. Yeah. That, that's the hard. I mean, that's just super busy. Yeah. I, it is very difficult to keep up with everything. So that this you ain't have on your plate. Yeah, but. this isn't easy, guys. Doing this uh, when you have so many different projects, and then even people say, "How do people record and do YouTube?" Well, we manage, but I mean, it's it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work, and um, we stay up way way later than yeah i think should. the boss had me up until one o'clock in the morning <laughs> um doing work i was actually putting a video editing videos and stuff so but that's part of the life that's guys. not me making him do that though i mean that's him well the problem is oh. now that i found out my phone records in a better quality it's taking a lot longer to upload videos mm -hmm. so but we'll just have to figure out when the rain comes, I'll have to make a bunch of videos because I have seven, eight days worth of videos. This, this lawn is not very long at all. Yeah, but we're still gonna mow it. Yeah, we're gonna cut it shorter. Yeah, because with all this rain, it's definitely gonna pop in the warm weather. So we'll show it to you real quick, but we're gonna get to work before mm -hmm. the rain comes. Hopefully we can get 15 done before the rain comes. Yeah, that would be nice. That ain't happening. So first one for the day guys it's got a little bit of growth but i mean hasn't rained really much but we're about to get a lot here we go we're finally able to mow the whole backyard they fixed the septic and now we're going to the next one. Oh man i did that fast <laughs> then i did the front i can't wait to aerate and seed this short so here is number two this one was the one with bees in it. You guys seen last, she said they took care of them. Oh, I see rain on the radar, even though it's clear as can be here, but where we gotta go in a little bit, it's starting to rain. So hopefully we can get some more done. We'll see. So we're finished number two. As you can see, Rachel's blowing everything off. Not bad. These cooling pals do work, and I mean, I was wearing a shirt anyway, so 
now it's a bonus. I don't know why they made it black though. So our three for the day. If you look down there in the truck, the boss is sitting in there hanging out. She makes me do this one by myself, guys. She'll get out and weed eat a little bit. But let me get this done. Again, another hill. They're not too bad. A little harder to do, but gotta do what you gotta do when you live in the mountains. So guys, here's number um, three we're done and we still haven't got rain on us. There's rain everywhere around. Um, hopefully we can get more done, but this grass is mostly weeds. Um, it was all weeds. We aerated it, seeded it, and we're fertilizing it for the, uh, we did that in the uh, spring not too long ago. Um, but we told her that it would, might not come in as good because of the heat and she doesn't want So we're done three and as I was saying up there, our game plan for that lawn up there Mm -hmm. is to spray everything in the fall heavily yeah. aerate and seed it again because uh -huh. i was telling them how the weeds are still in the lawn but if we killed off the weeds the seed that we put down yeah there'd be a lot of bare spots so man i really hope that you actually have a a very before of this lawn because know. no there's grass it was there was no grass at all no, in it, no. grass i mean Nothing. granted there's a lot of weeds in there and you can stripe weeds you guys seen mm -hmm. but um that's the game plan with any lawns that we have that are like really weedy mm -hmm. um for as far as in the fall we're gonna bombard them with a 2-4-D yeah um red zone or whatever and kill off all the weeds and then heavily aerate and seed at the so it'll all be done at the same time in the fall you guys oh and um how do you like your cooling I like them. It keeps me cool. It's wet. Um, like I said, don't know why the company would make black cooling towels or cooling hoodies because black attracts the sun and absorbs yeah, heat. I think it, so, it dries up. I quickly, think they'd be but... better if they were yellow. So, yeah. But I wear a shirt anyway, you guys seen, so this makes it better. The only thing is it makes your shirt wet that you have on. Yeah, so. because, you know, you're supposed to wring it out and then fling it, but it's still you don't really wring it out all the way it's nice when it's a little wet anyway so it does it's kind of funny because you're walking around with like dripping um but whatever it's too humid yeah, to be dealing it's with so this. humid it's with 85 not. right now and the humidity is or the dew point like randy said last night mm -hmm. or in a video it wouldn't be last night when you guys see it yeah he uh put a video up about the dew point from countryside and yeah. it's horrible the dew point is what's horrible i mean that's honestly why i wear the head wraps every single day i have a lot of hair wait but you're not gangster <laughs> Maybe. Right, we're at our next job, number four. The boss wants to know if those are edible mushrooms. She told me to go out there and eat them. <laughs> I did not. If I didn't have a life insurance policy, she probably wouldn't tell me that. Really? <laughs> Is that true, boss? If I didn't have a life insurance policy, you wouldn't tell me to eat the mushrooms, would you? I would not. I would want to know if they are really edible. I was just curious because we were watching... Um, a show last night it's like alone an, alone have you guys watched that and so, he came home after he won he was out of georgia and he started picking mushrooms yeah but i'm kind of thinking they might have put the logs there with mushroom seed in. that's what i'm thinking too well not mushroom seed or it's not seed it's spores right i right that's what it is because i think even like the seed companies around here sell logs with yeah would right? you be interested in learning how to farm mushrooms you and Jack no and i like the portobello mushrooms the ones they grow on the mushroom farm oh so i'm not about eating wild mushrooms out of the woods sorry guys i'm not eating wild stuff no you no. would not survive on alone then they build houses now with heat air conditioning and <laughs> electronics i have no desire to be on alone on survivor on naked and afraid I got, the only show I ever wanted to be on, guys, is they made this tracker show <laughs> that there was a guy on a horse and a team would go out into the woods and you had to get to a certain place and they would track you down. Yeah, let's see how many of you guys remember it. I don't. I, was it called Trackers or something? I think it was called Trackers. I but remember. If you guys it. seen it, let me know. Would you go on it with me? He was always trying to get me to go on it and I was like, no. <laughs> if they even do it anymore. 
Because I would be the one that, like, during a zombie apocalypse, especially if it's one of my kids, I would be like, okay, just eat me. <laughs> well, if you're with me, I can navigate you through. I mean, I learned night navigation in the Marine Corps. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's Enough get Enough truck door. talk. <laughs> we need to get to work. Rain yet, guys. I think it's all around us, but that's fine because I like that. We're cutting this one. It hasn't grown that much. It's on number four, but look in the background. I don't know. We're getting lucky so far. Let's go to the next two. Oh, let's see how many we can get done. Guys, we stopped for gas. It's not looking good. Not looking good. There's a lot of rain on the radar, but it hasn't hit us yet. Okay, boss. We have two more to do here. I think we're going to get six done before the rain starts. Yeah. Maybe would, even seven. That would be nice. That would be really nice if we could but, do that. So, you guys, I'll show you these. They did some uh, work over here. We don't have a woods anymore. I wonder what they're building back there. It says lot. I think they might be building a house. How are they going to fit a house back there? I don't there? know. It says lot 353. Well, you better work on Put your flyer over there. It's crazy. The house hasn't even started, man. They just built. Or they just tore out the woods. So when we got six, no, five and six. So we're going to get them done. As you can see, that does not look pretty, but it hasn't come yet. It's like just west of us. It's raining probably at our house now. Which is good, because we need it. Oh, the boss is going to go put a card on there. She thinks they're going to build a house next week. Oh, somebody left me a bobcat. Really? What, are we in the thievery business now? No, I was just kidding. It'd be nice. I told him you said they were going to build a house in a week, and we'd be mowing the lawn next week. Yeah, okay. Get on that, boss. So we got those two done. And as you can see, it's coming, boss. It is coming. I think it's gonna miss us though. The trees are saying, water me. I think it's gonna miss us. Why are you always up on my face? Like, <laughs> Here we are trying to get, what, our fifth one done? No, seventh one. Oh, seventh one? Yeah. Where have I been? Yeah, where have you, you well, I showed him you were sleeping in the car on the lawn. Yeah, okay. You think we'll make it to the next one the other one? I don't know. Looks a little scary. We're going over there. But look, that's light. Yeah, but you know it's not where the darkness is when the lightning comes down. It's yeah, right on the it's edge like right on the edge. Well, he's mowing, so we ain't got no excuse, boss. Yeah, okay. Lift your legs up on the railroad track. There's number seven over there we're doing. We made seven so far. There is light, lightning within two miles. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. Now it's back up to a 90% chance of rain this evening and they're filling in showers again. Really? See, they don't ever know. No, that changed so drastically. Yeah. But Rachel doesn't have to wear a cooling towel no more because the temperature dropped 14 degrees. Yeah. It we're down into the low chilly. 70s now. So we're going to get this one done, and maybe we can get another one done. Boss, where's this rain they called for? There's a 90% chance of rain, guys. So when we have a 10% chance of rain, we usually get heavy downpours. When we have a 90% chance of rain, it's usually just cloudy. It was sprinkling. I think it's still sprinkling. That's about it. Now, if you go 10 miles north of us to Asheville, they just got like inches upon inches upon inches of rain. Yeah. But, and they're supposed to get more inches of rain. But we just did a full day of mowing, pretty much. This is what, number eight? Mm -hmm. Goal for the day. Yeah, we hit our goal for the day. It would have been nice to get them all done today. And we would have had only three for tomorrow and two mm -hmm. and four for Saturday. But not going to happen. Not going to happen. Yeah, but how many does that leave I, us at? I've caught the boss sleeping five times today. Are you kidding? In the truck. I wish. I think she's sleeping right now, guys. <laughs> really? Do you think that you're a comedian? Not really. To myself, I am. I make myself laugh. And you got to admit, you laugh when we're editing it sometimes. Sometimes. So. Okay, let's get to work. Come on, now. It's time to work. <laughs> okay. See you later. <laughs> Have a good day. Do you, okay, I'll mow, I'll mow the front. No, I'm not mowing the side, man. That's your job. Why? And and I wish I was recording last time. She's starting to encroach into my mowing area. 
I was supposed to do the backyard and she brought the big mower in there and I seen her. So I think she's trying to get it to where I can't mow anything anymore. I bet what you if she, oh, I bet you if, at the last property, I bet you if you knew how to use that walk behind, you would never let me mow again. Probably not. I was helping you out, man. I was trying to get done quick. Tell her helping me out would have been picking up the weed eater and edging and doing all that. Now, come on. What type of sense does that make? <laughs> yeah, see, guys, I told If you. I'm good at mowing, then I'm going to mow and you're So, wait a second. Eat. Are you saying you're better than me at mowing? <laughs> I'm not saying that. You're saying you're faster, though. Oh, well, yeah. I have to say that. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know. I think I'm... I don't think that you should ever, ever in this industry say that a girl cannot keep up with a guy, especially when it comes to mo. Well, I don't know. Trimmer Queen is pretty good at trimming. Yeah. So, I mean, just because that's not my cup of tea, she enjoys it and she does a really good job at it. So, I think that women can hold their own in this industry. Yeah, but me personally, if I were... I wish that more of them would come out and say, hey, yeah. I'm a woman in the industry. But me personally, if, if you don't enjoy doing all aspects of it, you should be fired. I mean... Thank goodness you're the boss. It's not like... I don't weedy ever. No, Come she's. On. Are you going to tell you know, them that I uh, picked up the Husqvarna and. I'm going to tell them I'm going to buy. I don't really. I guess after using the Husqvarna for a while, I don't really like it because it heats up my arm and burns my arm. Yeah. Maybe it's the weed eater. Maybe I'm a baby. But I think I'm going to buy one or buy a, a um, homeowner steal one so she can use it. Because I notice when it's lighter like that and a little shorter. She picks up the weed eater I do pick it up. I, yeah, I will tend to a pick it up. Shorter commercial brand weed eater. I know. There's a lot of short people I out there. I was trying to get Echo to do it. I mean, we're not UAG members, but I did do an article with Echo, and um, I would really like for somebody to make And we did a good it. deed. We actually gave our Echo backpack blower, blower away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. So, I forgot to it. a friend mm -hmm. the same one we gave the 30 inch X mark to yeah so. oh and the 30 inch X marks done so actually maybe we should see if lawn commander wants to see if he can fix it I think it might need a new carburetor it starts up and then stalls right out we're just not a, Carl I'm not a mechanic no he's not a mechanic. I can change spark plugs filters oil the basics yeah the basics when it comes to rebuilding a an engine or a motor he or, doesn't have the patience yeah don't I have think, the patience at all to figure out what's wrong with it and to fix it but i can so, sit out there and garden though i know that which is funny but okay we better go before it really starts I know, to man, rain you're like sitting here talking that's what you guys got to do you get the boss into a conversation you get longer breaks you hear that employees out there ready let's go it like grew long didn't it that thing grew didn't it what are you saying? That thing grew, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It really grew. <laughs>
So we forgot to do an ending to the video you guys are going to see tonight. You've seen I couldn't flip up the FW or the FW, the um, C3X um, because it holds the front down pretty good. But we just wanted to show you guys an update on the fairy garden. And we had a wonderful subscriber send us something for the kids for their fairy garden. And we thank you very much. We and the message it. was um, because fairies do not eat regular sized food like what we're growing, they had to send us fairy food. So what did they send us? They sent us oh wait, Mexican miniature watermelon. So this. And so cute. Tiger melon. And then the tiger melon. See mommy? Tiger melon. Sick. So it's not focused. We're, but. we're only going to plant half of each seeds so we can save the rest for next year because we only have maybe 90 growing days left. So, mm -hmm. and it's pushing it close to these. I forget what they say as far as growing days. Do they say it on it? Yeah. The, the one was a little less, the gherkins or the sour 70 days. So. Yeah. So they should be fine. We just were a little worried about the melons. No, how long? Yeah. So we're going to try half of them and then we'll save the rest for next year. Yeah. But we really do appreciate that. What do you guys say? Thank, Thank you. you. That's like an amazing thing. So do you guys want to show? They obviously have to um, finish weeding and we need to get more mulch but um the silver stuff too. okay yeah the silver truck yeah, is here's down a plant that i don't know plant that i don't plant that. okay so we're gonna let the kids show you this car oh it's not focusing okay. Thank you. and then you guys have to end the video after you take them through a wall you remember how we there's flowers the we don't know about um stay happy or be happy or at least try ya. There's love in the air, I guess. Alright, there's a bird bath, there's a duck. Look, this is a good reason why you have the deadhead. Do you see this? What is it? Tell them that's a good reason why you have the deadhead. New flowers are on those plants. Huh? A new one on there. Huh? Careful, Paige. Don't go too quick. I'm not going too quick. Do you see the seed I'm getting colored? Oh, Look how pretty my flowers, Mommy. The snapdragons, yeah. they did come back really pretty. Look, there's Wait, even a yellow one. Like yeah. Did you oh, oh see don't see let him eat that. Did you see the yellow one? Look at the little gnome. Is it a melon? He's a little gnome. Oh, my favorite part of the garden. What? The snapdragon? Bodie. And the unicorn. And then we got some rare bunnies. Rare majestic bunnies. And then we got a brown one and a white one. This one fell down. Says hope. Hold on, mother. With the bear. What? Pretty clown. Your fish are so big, mommy. They are. What things? So there you go, that was the butterfly garden and we're gonna eventually finish it. The kids went in because we don't want them to get bit by mosquitoes. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, be happy or at least try.